The new North American champion. Is he really the new at this point? Probably he is a champ for two months now. I'm talking about Obafemi. The most dominant North American... Nope, scratch that. He's not the most dominant. He looks like he's gonna be the most dominant North American championship. I just said that the guy is a championship again. Anyway, it looks like he's gonna be the most dominant champion ever. But let's be real here. Dominic Mysterio was in the mix. So we already have the best of all time. So I don't know where he's going. The question right now is... Who is going to dethrone Obafemi? I'm going to save you some time and I'm going to say Dijak. Dijak is going to be the guy who's going to dethrone Obafemi. He couldn't do it against Keith Lee, but now is the time that he's going to dethrone Obafemi and he's going to become the North American champion. And it's going to fit him. I wanted a serious Dijak push for a long time. For some reason, the shit with Retribution was not working. Whenever he was paired with uh, the other guy, whenever he was T-Bar, the things were not working. Initially, when we came, when he came back to NXT, the shit is not working. Now, when he's working with Joe Gacy, the things are kind of working. And I, right now, whenever he's not super serious and he faced Obafemi on the latest episode of NXT, I felt it. Finally, I saw in the Dijak's eyes that he is determined, that he is having it, and he is ready to be a champion, or at least he is ready to be in the main event. I don't know how much time it's going to take for Dijak to go to the North American Championship picture, but when, once he gets there, I'm not sure he's going to pummel Obafemi. Maybe they're going to have a trilogy. I think this is the best scenario. A trilogy and in the end Dijak is gonna win but it's gonna be amazing I already can see Dijak versus Obafemi first match at stand and deliver second match at the pay-per-view that is uh, parallel to the summer swan one and the last one uh, that is I don't know when but the third one is gonna be two out of three falls and it's gonna be so close, Obafemi already gets it, but Dijak gets the final pin and it's gonna be such a feel-good moment because I think this is gonna be his first championship actually. I'm not really familiar with what is the situation with the championships for Dijak, but I'm gonna be so happy for him, man. And he's gonna be such a good champion, I can feel it. And also, can we talk about the fact that Two or three times I have posted videos of Dijak in my Instagram and people in the comments are saying I thought that Batista was cutting a promo. Probably you're right. He's having a good voice, Dijak. Congratulations, Dijak, on your beautiful voice. Please sing in my ears for days or years. I'm not sure. But anyway, uh, another contender for the North American Championship is Wesley. But I'm not sure what is the status of Wesley and how is he re recovering is going and when he's gonna be back. But this is gonna be another guy who is gonna be really cool to win the championship when he comes back. Or maybe, I don't know if you guys actually remember him, but the partner of Wesley. If NXT rehires him and basically he comes back and be like, I'm gonna fight for my brother and he actually beats Obafemi. It's gonna be nice as well. And after that, whenever Wesley actually comes back, they can clash against each other. And Wesley be like, I thought you were my brother, but actually you're a traitor. Oh my God, there is the, the potential is endless with Wesley and guys that are around him, but I, I'm not sure how serious are the controversies around this guy. And uh, maybe Dominic Mysterio can come back for one final North American Championship run. I'm just kidding, we're not gonna see Dominic Mysterio in NXT anymore. At least not anytime soon. Maybe next time we're gonna see Dominic Mysterio in NXT. He's gonna be really big and it's gonna be magical actually. But anyway, without anything else to say thank you guys so much for watching i'm gonna see you next time peace